you guys had a nice weekend as usual and also were you able to cross your teeth and dot your eyes while you're still in the process of it so whatever you do just know that the plans of a diligent makes more of an advantage so you're welcome again my name is Jesus Junaid and you're welcome to the platform for the camaraderie so here today I'll be talking about coral bleaching. What? You wonder, do corals bleach? Well, let's start with this. Corals and algae have a symbiotic relationship. If, like in biology, uh, you learn that symbiosis has to do with, you know, two um, living organisms coming together and they benefit from each other. I give you this, you give me that. I give you food, you give me this. So that's how it works. So corals and algae are together, but when there's extreme weather conditions like, um, let's say, too much of cold or too much of heat, then the algae leaves the coral. And once it leaves the coral, this coral um, becomes discolored in that it turns white, absolutely white. And yeah, the algae is responsible for the color of the corals that we wear. So, uh, but this should not be mistaken with uh, the blue coral. There are other types of coral. There's a blue coral. And I mentioned earlier that the red with orange hues kind of coral can be found in the Mediterranean. And also, the blue coral can be found in the Indian Ocean or the Pacific Ocean. So we are going towards that direction today. And the largest colony of where this blue coral can be found is in Ishigaki Island, southwestern Japan. So I'll be showing you the corals today. Now you know that corals can bleach and lose their color. However, they've got regenerative powers. If temperature is restored to normal and other conditions, they can become red and orange hues again and they can thrive. So, I'll show you a red coral I showed you last week here. This is a red coral. See, I think you can see these babies now. They kind of look much more, you know, attractive. You can see, really see with the lightning. I mentioned I like this lightning of this place. So, you can really see how it looks like. And here are the baby earrings. Them. They are made of sterling silver also and they have uh, a rubber back plug. The, this back plug is made of rubber or silicone to actually take care of your ear loops so that they don't drag down or they don't you know, expand. So as much as beauty is being put into perspective, we also have to make sure that beauty is comfortable. So this back plug also has a circular ring that's 18 karat gold plated. So I'll be showing you the last one. This is the blue coral. It's still not finished yet, but I just wanted to show you guys here. This one here is the blue coral. This is the turquoise. So this is the blue coral and yeah, it's really lovely. So that's all we'll be talking about today. I hope you enjoyed this program. If you have anything that you would like me to emphasize on kindly comment below and this turquoise maybe next week we'll talk about turquoises this is a different type of turquoise this is turquoise i also have on my neckline here and my hair see that it's beautiful right so i also have the turquoise it's quite different from this so they are in different hues i really hope you are going to enjoy so if you like me to talk more like i said don't forget to like, don't forget to like and subscribe. And do not also forget to comment if you like to know your opinions about our gems. So here I'll be showing you how I will be packaging this if you would like to have one of it. Here is it. See? And it still goes in a brown envelope which I haven't shown you yet. And maybe in the later uh, courses I'll be showing you. This is our logo, and this is made of cotton. So our materials are usually eco-friendly, and you don't need to worry about recycling. So let's recycle and keep our eggs balanced.
Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this brief discussion we had today because I really enjoyed it. All right then, have a lovely day. Bye everyone. Thank you for your big job.